I am just about to make my coffee. I kind of have no idea what kind of coffee I want, if I'm being honest. Because I feel like because we're very we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, I do kind of want to have a peppermint mocha. But there's also the gingerbread pod, which I'm obsessed with, but I don't know how many I have left. Oh my god, I have so many left. Okay, we're having a gingerbread pod. Okay. It's just really good. Like, I feel like this is a promising situation for their pumpkin spice, which I've never had because I got my Nespresso after that season. Um, that season, fall. Um, so, I am... Yeah, very addicted to the gingerbread. I curled my hair this morning. I did a full face of makeup. Ooh, she looking fancy today. Um, it is the day of my work party, my work Christmas party. So I am just dressed up a little bit for that because um, we are going out for a lunch, I believe. And then, um, so we're only working like half the day. So that'll be kind of strange. I haven't really worked a half day. I feel like motivation for me at least is going to be low. I hope I'm wrong because there are things that I could definitely be doing today, but I don't know. It's just hard when you know that like you don't really have to work the full day and you're just like looking forward to going out. So I have yet to decide what I'm actually wearing to this event. Um, I was gonna decide last night and then we just stayed up super, super late and had dinner very late last night. So, anywho, I'm gonna try and get my life together, which means I can't really talk to y'all anymore this morning. So, making my coffee, gonna get changed, and head out to work. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you, but with a bit of a risky outfit choice, I'm wearing my green turtleneck, and then I have my, you can't see it, black leather dress on top and I don't know I've like worn leather pants to the office before so I don't think this is like too far out of left field for me but like it's a bit of a spicy dress <laughs> so but I'm wearing a turtleneck underneath tights with it and like Chelsea boots and socks so I think I like toned it down with the rest of the look because the dress by itself is pretty hot so <laughs> A little risky for me for work something I haven't really done before but that's fine it's a holiday party we're we're doing it she's gonna look cute I wore my tassel earrings which I find are always very holiday and feeling good about the look you know a little nervous but we already left the house so we're wearing what we're wearing at this point it's also a little sad outside because it warmed up a lot this week and especially yesterday, and all the snow is melted. So everything just looks a little depresso and sad. There wasn't much of an update earlier. However, we went to our work holiday party. We went to Mr. B's Italian restaurant and it was delicious. We had um, beverages there, we had appetizers and a full meal there and dinner as well and it was wonderful we all had a great time and we went there and were there for a couple, few hours and then we went to overflow brewing which is a brewery obviously in ottawa and went and sang a little bit of karaoke hung out for a little while and honestly had an excellent time um like i said earlier this is my first like work Christmas party so it was very exciting to do something different and to kind of be at a corporate level and experience you know what those kinds of Christmas parties are like and anyone who's been to a work Christmas party like an office Christmas party will understand that things are a little bit different and you go to these restaurants and all of your drinks are paid for all of your food is paid for so that was a little bit exciting we got a, a little um goodie basket with holiday goodies in it um, I actually left that at work and Griffin's going to come pick me up next week sometime any of the days that he picks me up and I'm going to bring those all home and not worry about it but uh, we got a bunch of food wine whatever from several of the people that we insure so that's kind of a nice holiday gift that I wasn't expecting but we had a really great time and you know I sang karaoke with my 
chief operations officer and had a couple of beers with my boss and with my manager and all of it was very, very fun. It's wild because it's not even 9 p.m. and I'm having a, mm, I guess we'll say a really good time got a little bit drunk while we were out there were some door prizes as well that they drew some names for there were some airpods and i'm honestly very disappointed that i didn't win any of the airpods because i've been looking for airpods for several months and a couple of wireless bluetooth speakers and i did not win either of those either and i'm very sad because i would have been happy to win any of those especially the airpods i've really been looking for airpods for a long time so i wish i won those but i did not so C'est la vie. I will buy my own AirPods, but um, yeah, a corporate Christmas party, a office Christmas party is very exciting. So 10 out of 10 would, would recommend. Okay, so I'm home and in bed. We um, went to another bar after we were out at the restaurant and we were drinking some beer at a brewery and singing a little bit of Shania Twain karaoke and, and I didn't stay up too late. My boyfriend picked me up at around, you know, shortly after eight, we went to go pick up his brother from the train station and came home, ate some dinner. We ordered some takeout and it was just Chinese dumplings and they were wonderful. And came home, got settled, drank some water and um, we're actually going to see Spider-Man tomorrow. So we're going to bed at, well, I'm going to bed at a fairly reasonable time. It's like not even 11 yet and I'm headed to sleep. So kind of the perk of having an earlier work party in the afternoon as opposed to in the evening is that you go everywhere and do everything that you're going to do before late times at night. So you, you actually end up going to bed at a fairly good time and you, you know, even though you're day drinking, you don't end up hungover before you want to go to sleep. So I am happy, having a good time to go to sleep while you know the night is still fairly young and I don't have to worry about being absolutely exhausted tomorrow when we go see Spider-Man at 12 30 in the afternoon so that was lovely and yeah it was just a very casual evening had a very good time it was like exciting to do my first like office work Christmas party situation I had a really good time and I already like had gotten to know some of the people from my office and whatever but I think that it's weird with it being a weird time and you know people being in and out of the office and like things not being consistent um I haven't seen everyone you know a bunch of times or all the time so it's just kind of nice to spend some quality time with everyone from the office so we really enjoyed ourselves and I'm headed to bed now I'm gonna get a really good sleep I hope before we go see Spider-Man tomorrow. I'm very, very excited for that. And yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing a day in my life um, at my office Christmas party. I just be in a book. Whoa, look at that. Hello, it is Saturday and it is around 3.55 p.m. I just wanted to make the lighting better. Um, it has been a bit of a wild day. Obviously yesterday was the office Christmas party. And then last night we picked up Brayden from the train station and brought him to our place and he's staying with us for the next week. Last night after I had gone to bed, Griffin woke me up and informed me that Groot had gotten into a bottle of Advil and eaten two Advil capsules. So. He and his brother took Groot to the emergency 24-hour vet to get that dealt with and have her treated for it and, you know, they like induce vomiting and all that kind of stuff. And so they had to go do that in the middle of the night at like 2 in the morning. So that was not ideal. It also cost $450. So not my fave, especially this close to the holidays when... There are many other things that we would prefer to be spending or saving money with so that was really bad news but it's tough because like with 24-hour vets like when you're going in the middle of the night the majority of the cost is just on the like service slash appointment itself and it's because it's like similar to the concept of insurance actually like you're not necessarily just paying for yourself. You're also paying for everybody to have access to that service. So, you know, even though you coming might not have been like 
inconvenient for them. The concept of a 24 hour vet is expensive to have because people only go there when there's emergencies. So they don't depend on regular um, scheduled appointments. So the cost of running those clinics is much higher than a regular vet clinic. So the charge for just attending and going there and receiving services from them is significantly higher. So that was just kind of an unwanted expense, obviously, but the dog is good. She's all fine. We got extra medication for her just in case because um, the thing with Advil when they eat it, it like breaks down their stomach lining and that kind of stuff. So we have extra medication for her just to make sure that her stomach lining is all good and nothing is wrong. So that was just a bit of an excitement in the night. They like woke me up and told me what happened. They're like, okay, we're going to go and do that and whatever. And then they were gone for a few hours and then they were back and whatever. So neither of them got very much sleep. And I was like, obviously drunk from the night before and like working through a hangover overnight and was woken up a couple times during it and like not fully <laughs> understanding what was happening so it was a bit of a situation then this morning we got up like at around 11 and just made coffees and then we headed to go see the new spider-man movie we went to go see it in imax in gloucester there's a scotiabank theater in gloucester and it's like the only i think it's the only imax theater in ottawa um griffin's brother like really wanted to see it in imax and i haven't seen an imax movie in years like in a very very long time um, so it was kind of exciting. It was like a new experience, not new, but like relived experience. I don't know. We really only go to, um, VIP movies anymore. So it was just interesting. And like the screen is huge. Like it's just so big. And anyways, it was very cool for this movie. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want anything to be spoiled for anyone. Um, but we really enjoyed it and it was kind of everything that we wanted it to be. So that was really good. Um, I do have to say, I didn't know until we were there that, I mean, I guess like they released that theaters were back up to 100% capacity, I think like regular movie theaters, but I ended up with like somebody, like this couple sitting next, directly next to me. And I didn't think that that was like a thing yet. So that was not my fave, especially with all the news that's been coming out recently about like- It wasn't a thing. They weren't supposed to sit beside you. Everyone but there was, was a, no, room. but there was down a row to the right, there was another couple sat directly next to somebody else, too. I don't think they're supposed to be, though. It said on the screen that it's supposed to be... Well, they said seat. don't sit in empty seats, but I wonder if, like, up to a certain point, they direct people into other seats. But, like, there was rows at the front still that were completely empty, so it seemed strange to me. But the problem is, is that everyone can select their own seats online, right? So yeah. it's like people are going to be like, oh, well, I want to have the good spot as opposed to oh, yeah. worrying about sitting next to somebody else. Well, I don't know. I don't know. They seemed very like determined when they came to sat down. So I don't feel like they were like looking around and being like, "Ooh, we should go sit there." You know what I mean? Like it didn't seem like that when they came over. Like they were looking for their seats. So right. yeah. I don't really know. Didn't love that, especially because, um, like Griffin and I said, like we only really see VIP movies now, and those seats are huge, right? So it's like. Even if there was someone sitting, like, next to you, that's, like, a full seat, basically, in between you. That person was sitting next to me, I was like, mm. <laughs> And my only concern, is your mom coming to Matrix with us? Because if that's how close people are sitting in movie theaters now, I don't know how she's going to do, to be honest with you. Like, well, we might want to suggest, like, that we take two cars, and if she feels uncomfortable then she can leave if she wants to. I don't know if that's like, I don't know how to say that non-aggressively, but like, I feel like she won't have fun. So it was yeah. weird to sit to other people, like next to other people that I didn't know. However, we were there for the movie and I desperately wanted to see the movie. So I just kind of got over it, but it was very, very good. We had popcorn and I got like little Hershey's kisses, which I'd never seen before at the movie theater, but that was they were nice and yeah we came out and it was an absolute blizzard outside so 
Anyways, we came home to check on the dog and she's doing well. She's her happy self. She hasn't tried to get into anybody else's medication or whatever. Oh, this morning as well, she uh, started chewing up the paper invoice that we had from the vet too. So she just uh, was interested in wrecking herself again. So we are going to, I don't even really know what we're going to do now. I think just hang out, try and get warm. My feet are freezing. I was a dummy and didn't wear a jacket to the theater. So we're going to get warm. I think the guys might play video games. I'm unsure, but going to take the rest of the day easy, I think, with the snowstorm. Okay, I am about to head into some Christmas cookie making. I am honestly probably behind in my schedule for how early I should have started making these. So we're going to conquer um, at least three different types today. I think I'm going to start uh, with eggnog fudge as the first thing that I'm going to make because it needs to go in the fridge to set. And then I also need that pan for another type of like... Uh, cookie dough bar that I'm making so we're gonna do that first get that out of the way and then I'm not quite sure which ones I'm gonna make next but I need to get into it I've got all my butter out here softened outside of the fridge so that's good um, we have a giant thing of flour and everything that I bought last weekend so I'm gonna hop into this cookie making and hopefully make a good dent today Okay, I also got determined in my head to start re-watching The Vampire Diaries while I'm doing these Christmas cookies. And I was devastated because it's no longer on Netflix. So I panicked and it's actually on Prime Video, which we have a subscription for. And that's even more of a pain because I'm conflicted about having a subscription to Prime Video anyways, because Jeff Bezos is the worst person like ever. So I'm very... We've been looking at getting rid of our Prime subscription, so it's just frustrating that this is now another thing that I'm interested in watching that's on here. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna start watching it. Um, and I had to bring my laptop into the kitchen. Usually I just play it on my Google Home that's back there, but just a pain. Okay, yeah, wait, we can do it. Yeah, right. Oh, we're going, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go. Okay, we gotta get a chair. No, no, no. <laughs> I've got a step ladder. We can do it. Thread that need. The yeah. fuck? <laughs> so last that one. <laughs> So this is my first and only clip for today on Sunday. Today was busy and I just needed like a mental break for the day, to be honest with you. We went to the mall to do the rest of our Christmas shopping. We came home, we decorated the Christmas tree. We made dinner we got a good food box for the week and i cleaned up the garage a little bit and cleaned up the apartment a little bit random but when you get those like random surges of energy and motivation you just go with it because if you don't then nothing ever gets done so yeah i don't know today i was just like not in it for for vlogging we've had a long weekend having Brayden here for the first weekend and it's been really really lovely but you know family comes to visit and you haven't seen each other in a while and you end up staying up late and all that kind of stuff and probably not eating as healthy as you normally do so just took a lot out of me this weekend but it's been wonderful so far and we're getting really close to the Christmas holiday and I'm very very excited so I need to get some sleep because I have work in the morning but uh yeah I just wanted to let you guys know why I didn't film at all today um just wasn't in it today but I'm back at it tomorrow so have a great night and we'll chat soon. Bye, babes.